Diamond for Diamond Shine. So guys, I'm so excited to have you in the studio today. Today we'll be doing a really cool video. Now, before we get into that video and the supply list that you will need, I want to let you guys know about what I do during the week. During the week, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with candle makers just like you. You could be in the beginning, you could be advanced, you could be just spending a whole lot of money on Amazon and just not making good candles. You could, your candles can smell good when they're cold and you burn them, you get no smell. You can have black suit on your candles, your candles could be tunneling. You, you can have a number of issues. These one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions are specifically designed and tailored for your situation, okay? So there's no notepad or anything when you come on there. We just pretty much deal with where you are, okay? And also, I want to let you guys know that you, a lot of people are going to ask me, because we will be doing this candle with a pocket fairy jar, and these are found on Candle Science website. And if you are in the other, on the other side of the state, like, you know, like uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, we got candles and supplies, they sell them as well. And also I heard a bulk apocathy, a bulk apocathy, you know, I heard they sell them too. So, you know, it's just, it's a few places that sell them guys. So, you know, I'll just link it all in the description box, but I want to let you guys know something. A lot of people are always asking me when I do these videos, they're in the comments and they're like harassing me about what's the wick size. What's the wig size? What's the wig size? Guys, on Saturday, we have wig training. If you need to know a wig size, if you need to be trained in wig sizes, you need to come to wig training. I'm not just going to give you one, one size wig, and when you wig that candle, you can't go forward because this is the only thing you know how to wig. And also, it depends on what kind of wax you use. Every wig don't work in every wax, so I don't mislead people. I just don't give out things just to give it out. And then you sitting there blaming it on me when your things ain't burning properly. That's just not how I roll. So if you are one of those people who get in the comments and need help, Saturday, every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, it does not matter where you live at in the world. This is a Zoom session. We all get together. It's advanced people. It's people who have been just, just started yesterday. I have people who never even made a candle a day of their life and invest into their business. Um... Small investment, because let me tell you something. If you continue to wig test, you will lose a lot of money. You will run through a whole box of wax and have not made one candle just because you didn't invest 25 or however much wig training is right now. Okay, so I want to see you on Saturday. Anyway, so let me talk to you. Look, tell them, let, let, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me tell you guys the supply list. So <clears throat> this is going to be a key lime. Uh, we're going to do a key lime candle. We're going to do it in a pocket fairy jar. I know, I know, I know. This is a very beautiful jar. And I wanted to let people know, hey, listen, you can do desserts in this jar too, okay? So I'm going to be using these limes. Now, these limes are really, really nice. Um, I got them from, from Heaven. What is it? Heaven Scented Candles. I will link that in the description box. Her name is Mika Thomas. She's a very, very beautiful um, woman who makes InBev, has phenomenal customer service, take care of her customers really well. I've been dealing with her for a very long time. Um, she also made these peaches as well. So if you're a person who do not know how to decorate peaches and, you know, paint them or whatever, or you just don't have the time and you want to have peaches and um, limes and stuff like that, wait a minute. This, let me tell you what this smell like. You remember back in the day, we would go to this corner store and get those. If you're from New York and you got a bodega on the corner, or you're from Philly and you got a corner store, you go in there, you get them peach O's, that little pack for 50 cent back in the day, 99 cent now. That's exactly what these smell like. And she has very unique scents. Um, she makes graham crackers, cookies. There are so many different things that she make. And um, these particular embeds, these limes are really, really, really strong, and, and, and I deal with her, and I've been dealing with her for a very long time. She's such a great woman. You know, I had another woman who, um, who was also selling embeds a long time ago, and I was promoting her, um, but then I started using her, and I really like her, um, and this is actually like, you know, she's a dear friend of mine. So listen, I'm going to link everything in the description box. You'll be able to see where you can get your jars from, where you can get your embeds from. This is definitely going to be a candle that I know I'm going to see you guys make, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm so excited to give you guys a candle. I haven't done this in a very long time. This is going to be awesome. All right. All right, so while we're waiting on our wax to heat up, I'm getting ready to wick this jar. But listen to me very closely. 
Now, a lot of people have an issue with wicking this jar, and they they complain about a whole lot of heat. Like once it gets to the bottom, it gets really hot. The secret to this jar is this: you have to make sure that you put your wicks like closer to the middle. Don't space them out like to like right here. You know, most people when they wick like a jar like this, they they try to space them out as far as they can. See, because what happens is as the um, wicks burn down, the heat hits the shoulders of the jar, making it hot. So you have to make sure that you pull them as close to the middle as possible. Um, you know, to, of course, giving your wicks enough space to breathe, but at the same time, being very cautious and knowing that if it hits the shoulder, it will heat the jar up a little bit more than what you would want it to be. <laughs> okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and let's uh, wick this jar and get right into it. Okay, so I'm blending in my fragrance. I had to switch it over to this bowl because I forgot to weigh it. <laughs> So I'm just blending in my fragrance oil and I'm definitely going to pour at a low temperature. This is definitely low. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my first layer. Okay, so I poured my white layer um, really cool on top of the green layer. I didn't pour it to where as though um, it would break into the other layer, so I poured it very cool. So the only thing you will have to do now is get your whip wax ready, let this top solidify, and after that we're going to decorate the top. But that's just about it. Um, make sure when you pour it in there that it's about a good 100 and maybe 130 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. Just make sure it's really white like this. This is really, really white if you guys can see that. Okay, family, so as you can see, um, this candle has uh, solidified. And so don't worry about the lines you will see because you had to pour it really cool. So you'll see like lines on your jar. Don't worry about that. The next day, you could just take the heat gun and just kind of go and, um, you know, fix those lines. I'll be using a little bit of crumble. Uh, Heavenly, Heavenly Scented Candle, she sell crumble as well. Like I said, I'll put all of that in the description box. She also has like strawberries. I had got some strawberries from her too. Very nice strawberries. When they come to you, they smell really good. They're really strong. That's what I like about her stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of crumble inside this candle because I really want this to look like some key lime. I want it to look like key lime of the cake or pie. Key lime pie. It's key lime pie. Okay, alright, so I'm going to put a little crumble in here and I'm going to put it in the middle, but I'm going to have to push it over to the um, the edges because you can't really see it in the middle once you pipe over it, so it'll just really be for no reason. So you want it to be seen in the jar. So I'm just push, I'm just putting it in right now, but I'm going to push it all to the front and to the side so it can be seen. So I'm just piling it up in the middle and then I'm going to work it all the way over to the sides. You could take a spoon and um, you know, pretty much just take the spoon and do it or you could take your fingers and do it. You know, it really don't matter. I'm just going to take my little spoon and just kind of take it and push it over. Okay? Just push it out the middle. Let me get close up on this so you guys can see. Okay, cool. You can see it. All right. So just kind of take it and push it out the middle. I love crumble that look realistic. That's one thing about me. You got to make a good crumble. You got to make a good crumble to get me. Okay, because I make me. I know how to make some real good crumble. I made some crumble for a video one time and everybody was asking me, you want to sell it? I'm like, no, I'm not the crumble lady. But I will teach you how to Dougie, okay? All right, so I'm pushing this over to the sides so people can see that. You know, I got to even it out because it's just too much. I'm trying to even it out. Cause I don't want it too much to where that you can't see the whip on the side either. You know, there's a balance to this thing. Don't put too much. Don't put too little. Okay, so I just wanted a nice little small layer. Kind of take some of it out. Let's see if I can even it out. Here it is. It's nice and even. Okay. All right. So if you had this part and you made it this far in this candle, then that means that you're ready for the big part. The, the big part is basically the whip. I'm going to go ahead and give it a whisk really quick just to make sure it's soft and all the clumps are out of it. All right. 
right. All right, so I made sure all of my little clumps is out of the bowl, and um, now I'm going to go ahead and scoop some of it into my piping bag, and we're going to pipe it and decorate the tops with our limes. And I'm excited about using these limes. They smell so good. It's like, you know, one thing I love about a candle is a first impression. You know, when you got a really nice first impression of a candle, like a candle smell good, you know, that's everything. You know, when people come up to your candle, they should be able to smell your candles a mile away. You know, people can't smell your candles and they got to really get all the way up on it and smell it. Like some of my stuff, like my candles, I'll just leave sitting in my room just to give my room a good smell without it being lit. My cold throw has to be strong, okay? Cold throw got to be on point like a decimal. All right, so now I got my piping bag, my piping tip. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and finish this out. Let's go for the grand finale. Okay, let's go for the grand finale. Let's pipe this thing on out. Okay, so I'm going to do some pretty little piping going on in here. I'm going to go around. Pull my, I'm pulling my wicks closer to the middle. Like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, you know, I don't want them too, too far apart. Because then it goes into the shoulders of the jar. Okay, so I'm just pretty much just going around. Doing some pretty flowery type of piping very beautiful okay so we're going to do that all the way around until we get to the middle and as you can see it looks beautiful it looks really beautiful this is something you guys can do easy 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 no problem okay so what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to pipe outside the jar because i actually brought the lids and those lids are not for cheap okay i'm going to use those lids <laughs> Those lids will be used. There will not be one lid left behind. All those lids will be used. Try to make sure you guys got enough lighting to see this. Okay, you do. All right. So let's go ahead and decorate the top. Trying to see if I'm going to use the small limes or the bigger ones. But whatever I do, I'm going to push my limes down. So I'm going to use the bigger one. And I'm going to push it all the way down. Okay, kind of lay it like that. You know, I can't put two in there if I want to, one on one side, one on the other. Either way around, I actually like it like this with one lime. It's actually pretty, I know. I usually do a whole lot on the top. But I think this one lime, this one lime is everything. This is good. Guys, I hope you like this candle. Listen, I actually put a link at the bottom of um, in the description. It's called Buy Me A Coffee, okay? For me to make these free videos, listen. Did these supplies cost for me to get the um, things from Heavenly Candle and for me to get the things that I need, the jars, um, the, the frosting, the wax, all of this stuff cost. Um, I wish I could tell you that I was, you know, I had a million subscribers and I was making all this money a month, you know, but I'm not there yet, as you can see, um, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there very soon, very swiftly, very quickly. So you showing your support by buying me a coffee helped me to do these free videos, you know, so I, I appreciate everybody that bought me a coffee. I had about four people to buy me a coffee. And so what I do with that money is I, I buy my coffees to do my lives when I give you guys advice and. Um, I can buy supplies, you know, to be able to do different candles. Um, if you don't see a whole lot of free candles and stuff on the, 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 the channel, guys, listen, I need to buy these supplies. They're not free. So shipping went up, um, embeds cost, the, the frosting. I got ProBlend 600. I got um, 6006, you know, so, and I got a bottle of wicks and a fragrance and everything as well. So, you know, guys, these videos for you, these are for you. So buy me a coffee <laughs> and I will continue to keep these free videos going on this channel. All right.